All right, so let's talk about wrapping these. Um, I'm going to show you, obviously I'm here by myself, so I'm going to show you how to wrap your knees by yourself. Uh, you can do this with a partner. In fact, it works a lot better if you have a partner. But uh, a lot of people don't, so we're going to learn it this way. Um, these are two meter wraps. Um, you'll be able to do more with a longer wrap. But a lot of this is contingent on the length of the wrap and how big uh, the person wrapping, uh, the person being wrapped is. Uh, it'll depend on how many revolutions you get. So, basics up front. We're going to start with a wrap, one wrap width below the knee. So you can put the, the top edge of the wrap just kind of on the bottom of your kneecap here. Just go one wrap width below the knee. Now I'm going to spiral from the from the front to the outside. Why? Because that's how I was taught, probably because of some irrational belief on how that's gonna pull your knee when you're under load, but it's not likely to be true. So now we just do it this way for posterity. A lot of people like to roll the wrap so you're not flailing it around like this. If that if you like that, then great. It always just got in my way trying to make sure the damn thing didn't come unrolled anyway, so I just flailed the thing around. Uh, it's up to you. I know a lot of people get a lot out of pre-rolling their wraps, meaning that they stretch the wrap before they even start this whole process, but we'll talk about that in a second. For now, I'm just going to flail. So the idea is that you pull the wrap and lock it down. Now, the first couple revolutions, you're going to want to hold that down so it doesn't come undone as you start to spiral up. Okay, so how much do you spiral up? Well, that depends on how big the person you're wrapping is, but a good rule of thumb is to come about halfway up the wrap. So you see the bottom edge of, of the new placement. Sorry, this is gonna get blurry. I don't know why, but um, the bottom edge of the new placement is about halfway up the old wrap, uh, the, rep, the previous placement. So you keep spiraling up the knee, pull tight, you pull tight in both directions, front and back. Ideally, now that I did this really loose so I'm not getting very far, um, ideally you want to come up at least one wrap width, maybe one and a half wrap widths above the knee and your last revolution you can back off of it just a tiny bit just so it's loose enough that you can fit your hand under it and what you want to do is ideally in the front of the knee if you can uh, you're going to want to take this tail end stick it underneath the wrap like this and pull it through so some people pull it all the way through and gives you a little flag waving at the top. Uh, I like to pull, if I have enough wrap, I like to pull just kind of this loop and it leaves a tab here at the bottom and it makes it really easy to get the wrap off when I'm all done. Now, I do think it's useful to put the end of the wrap on the top front of your knee if you can. I think it gives you, it makes it look like you're just a little bit deeper probably than you really are and uh, I'll take that advantage if I can get it. So one of the advantages of this little tab is that when I'm all done I can just grab a hold of it and pull down and my wrap comes off rather than having to fight with the thing. Now if you have a smaller knee you can do all kinds of cute things. Uh, when you, I'm going to back this off and try to See if I can come up more aggressively. Oh, something I forgot to mention. As you're wrapping, you want to make sure that you're wrapping on a straight knee with your knee locked out. Give your quad a little bit of a flex. All that stuff helps. So I'm going to just throw a wrap on here, spiral up uh, so I can try to have some more excess wrap here at the top. So one thing that you can do, especially this works especially well if you're Wrapping a smaller person and or if you have a longer wrap, see you have plenty left over, so what do you do with it? 
Well, now you can kind of make an X pattern. So the first wrap, the, the first thing that you do to make this X pattern, so your top inside of the knee, so you go to the bottom outside, and then you come around, and then you would go back up from the, from the bottom inside to the top outside. And then you would go around the top of the quad again. Um, struggling to show you this with a two meter wrap. So the, you go from the bottom inside to the top outside like so. Then you come back around and then you would tie it off like normal. Uh, it gives you an, like this X pattern in the front. A lot of people like that. Um, a lifter my size with a two meter wrap, no way am I going to have enough wrap to do that. Um, there's other things that you can do too, uh, wrap in different directions. Uh, I know some people like to wrap from the top going down. I never liked that very much. Uh, but the thing is, I would start with the basic wrap. Start at the bottom, spiral to the outside, go up, uh, and tie it off. When you're comfortable with that, if you have enough wrap left over and you want to try some things, try them. See what, see what you like. It'll depend a little bit on the wrap, too. These are titan, uh, titan titanium wraps. And so these are a little bit stretchier, a little bit springier. So if you're using a wrap like their Signature Gold that, that has uh, not much give, and it's a, it's a pretty aggressive wrap, then that might drive you toward a, a different wrapping style. Uh, so I would start with the basics, and once you're comfortable with that, venture out. And trust your judgment on it. You know, if you try it and it feels better, then it feels better. Uh, if you try it and it feels worse, then it feels worse. So um, this is kind of the 101 on wrapping your knees. Hope you get something out of it.